of an image. Uh, so it's a sort of a primitive eye, not a true eye. So yeah, I guess that's my answer. I hope the viewer's not too mad at me for calling air a fluid. Nice. Yeah, it's really good.
Good evening. Welcome to the 8 to 12 watch. We're still kind of getting situated. We're glad to be here. Continue to send your questions into the chat and we'll get to as many as we can. Check, check, one, two. SPL check. Hello, Jake. Test, test. Hey, we're not having fun back here. Don't worry. Oh, okay. I was about to say, if you're having fun, get out the van. Settle down. Settle <laughs> down. Preparing for the blue blue train. We have what some C4 to stare at. Not sure that we can approach the uh, jocularity of the previous watch. They uh, were they were they killing it? Yeah, they were uh, lost in which watch? <laughs> lost in giggles. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What did you do, Renny? <laughs> Renny, what, what's going on with the sonar up there, man? <laughs> He's trying to make a Van go. I was working on it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We You're like beam, like beam forming in real time. Yeah, be prepared for whatever that is. <laughs> We're being attacked. <laughs> Good thing we're not moving. <laughs> uh, lush green fields ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> now it's nighttime. Green pastures. <laughs> oh, that's much better. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. Nice painting. I'm going to miss that pleasant green. <laughs> Yeah. Park is very hot as well, huh? So Adam, we expect a lot of samples during our watch, thank you. Yeah, I what do I think we're got a fair bit already, but uh Let's see, we're gonna keep it going. Got room for lots of rocks. Oh, that looks a lot better there, Renny. Yeah. Appears that the uh, infrastructure bill is going to have some work to do on this road in front of us. <laughs> Cracked up. A few potholes, aren't there? Okay. Um, we're paused right now. Would you like to keep on moving, or do we have uh, tasks here? We don't have anything right in front of us, so let's okay. head to waypoint three. Waypoint three. We want to. Yeah. Uh, you can. Uh, or do you want to go up here, or do you want to go over to this side? Yeah, like you don't have to hit right at waypoint three if you want to go a little further up the hill and attack it at an angle. I'll just I'll keep going on the same course to like here, and then yep. we can go up from there. Unless you want to get to the steep bit. Kay. I mean, I do, but, you know, in due course. In due course. Kay. Course, get it? A little navigator. Uh, yeah, a little navigator. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it goes over the heads of... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what, which course were they going? 
to find out. Like one, one two five. zero. Yeah. Before we go, we we'll get a little zoom on that fella. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Bridge nav. Good evening. Can we set one hundred meters bearing one two zero and speed zero point two? Thank you. All right, Dave, go ahead and zoom on in there. Aha. Uh -huh. What is it, Adam? That's an anemone. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, we are very proud of you, Adam. Let's see. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't have a more like species specific <laughs> or is anemone the species <laughs> oh my god here no. comes the geology watch look out <laughs> look out world <laughs> feldspar we can always talk about rocks <laughs> send your questions in about rocks <laughs> clearly that anemone is sitting on mineral material <laughs> mm. you could tell us a whole a bunch about that can't you river of mercury <laughs> so what's going on with these rocks behind it so actually it's pretty cool man we're we're on this kind of sedimented uh slope we're in actually these seamounts have ridges that kind of stick out radially and we're in between one a uh, couple of those ridges in a little valley so a place where sediment collects and that platy crusty stuff is like sediment that's being infused and welded together with manganese so we collected a sample of it earlier if we cracked one of those open you'd see that uh, that black kind of penetrates a little bit into the sediment and it's basically holding it together which is awesome so that there, there's no part of that that's that's uh, not crust that's entirely crust is that what you're saying it, I'm saying it's uh, kind of like con sediment that's been consolidated by the crust. Uh -huh. Wow! So no lava. No, no volcanic, no uh, volcanic material. That's so thick. Yeah. Well, if you want, you can stab it with the manipulator and either prove me wrong or <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's just keep that stowed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're all always for proving you're wrong here. <laughs> yeah, if it seems like you'll be right, I think we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> the fractures are so linear there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it breaks up the way it does, other than it's kind of sitting on stuff that it can slide downhill. Huh. There were some cool views from... Uh, the Argus cam earlier where you could see those cracks. I don't know if you if you lighten up the Argus cam, maybe we'll see them. Yeah, Jake, do you want to frame up Argus and then we can try zooming in there? Yeah, I mean, we can zoom. Is the fish laying down? Oh, yeah. that's a cool shot. Yeah. the strike this way. So is it common or uncommon to have volcanic deposits, not like this, bones that are volcanic? To have I can't hear you. Are you talking? I am oh my god, that's so <laughs> passive aggressive. <Wow. laughs> are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> No, really. You are a bit quiet. Am I? Yeah. Oh, no. Right there, no. Somebody had turned my SPL down, though. 
and oh yeah, let me check. Well, negative. Wait, what number are you I'm at? Like what do you like go quiet, to? So I like hardwire into everybody to hear people. I go 18 dBs. You're on 18. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I really Ooh. like it. Oh, I'm on 13. <laughs> 13. Everybody's negative. But then I have to force listen to people to hear them. Got to zero everyone out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, zero Sarah. Let's out. return to your. All right. Comments. Anyways, I, I added some gain to Sarah, so okay. Should, oh. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Um, so is it common for volcanic deposits to have like a, a preferred joint or fracture orientation? Um, yes and no, I guess. That, so so if we take like a mid-ocean ridge, for example, it has a very kind of simple stress field working on it. The plates are pulling apart. All of the fractures are running um, kind of 90 degrees or orthogonal from the direction the plates are moving. Yeah. Uh, there would be places on the flank of a volcano where even these ones in Hawaii where the, the slopes are kind of moving outward and so you get a bunch of parallel fractures. Um, and then there's the kind of organized cooling joints or columnar jointing that you get. So those are some e examples, but maybe that's not hitting on what you're saying exactly. Like, Yeah, so like on the seamounts like this, would you expect anything? Oh, so, you know, these radial ridges uh, are kind of like rift zones, and people have looked at them uh, and there's, there's on the Hawaiian volcanoes, there's often three rift zones. And so that's a kind of low energy uh, organization of fractures. Um, some of these seamounts have a uh, more stellate pattern, so like five rift zones. Um, people have looked at that, but not super closely. As we get better maps of all these seamounts, we could probably look at that. Um, but I think there is, uh, you know, some number above which it just wouldn't make sense to have like 20 rift zones around the volcano. Right. And it wouldn't make sense to have one. Um, might be that odd numbers are more common than even numbers. So jointing would be if there was any per parallel to the rift? Parallel ridges? to the rift, you would see, yeah, you would see... Uh, fractures or you know parallel to the rift joint you can also see another structure in these is probably parallel to the slope and that's basically between different lava flows um, super interesting to think about the fractures that form in volcanic deposits and the permeability or porosity that 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 comes from that because in active systems you know that's where the hydrothermal fluids will go uh, and even in the ocean crust in general there's a huge aquifer of you know water that's moving through the crust like below the surface in fact yeah. there some people think there's as much biomass uh, in the crust as there is you know in the ocean just uh, microbial life that that lives in that aquifer Oh, that's a cool thought. Didn't yeah. Know. They call that, God, they have such a good name, the dark biosphere. Whoa. Oh, like, oh. like dark matter. <laughs> oh. Wait, should, should we whisper that? <laughs> dark biosphere. They come, I, some people say they come through the hold fast. <laughs> Actually, only I said that just now. No one ever said that. <laughs> Dark yeah. Biosphere would make a great band name. Yeah. Oh, yes, it would. Along with uh, 812, in case anyone's keeping track. <laughs> <laughs> with that, I'm going to welcome our viewers. <laughs> Here we are. We've had a request tonight um, at some point to do introductions, talk about what our job is at our station, and wave at the camera. All right. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, there's cameras in here. Which camera? <laughs> <laughs> the 
The second part was to wave? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll kick things off. Hi, I'm Lisa Ball. I'm from Lawrence, Kansas. I am a science teacher and I'm fulfilling the role of science communication fellow on the ship. I'm both helping with the live feed and I've been teaching lots and lots of classes all over the world during the day. All right, I'll go next. I'm Adam Sewell. I am uh, the watch lead, uh, which kind of directs the dive, you know, where we want to go next, what we want to sample, but truly it is actually a collective effort. Um, let's see. I'm a professor at University of Rhode Island. I am now waving at the camera. <laughs> uh, I, see you. I live <laughs> in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Um, grew up in Olympia, Washington. My favorite Christmas present from when I was a kid was a <laughs> an Incredible Hulk that I think it was like filled with glue or something, but you could stretch the arms. Oh, like stretch oh, arms. Really far. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I thought you would say a rock tumbler. Oh, I did have a rock tumbler. I <laughs> love that rock tumbler. Super noisy, though. That's what you got to think about, everyone. Before you get a rock tumbler, you got to have a place to put it that's a bit out of the way because it's it so needs to go for like weeks and weeks. Don't get it for your own kid. Get it for like your nieces and nephews. Exactly. Right. Yeah. But ask your parents for one if you're a, a, if you're listening right now. <laughs> and some drums. <laughs> or Santa. Ask Santa. So, uh, Sarah yeah. Bremer. I'm a geoscientist from the Wisconsin State Geological Survey. And I'm fulfilling the role of data logger on this expedition and science manager in training. I'm waving at the camera. I'm sitting in the corner over here. Um, so I'm logging all the observations and samples into our database. Um, and processing samples in the lab when not on watch. My favorite Christmas present is... Oh, that's a good one. Um, I don't know, I was super into Barbies when I was little. Those were always exciting. Weren't we all? Oh, yeah. I can't think of one. My dad made Barbie. Um, my grandpa made started first making us little Barbie things because he was a woodworker. Oh, nice. So we would have like a vacuum and a toilet that flushes. And Whoa, <laughs> that's so, yeah, super that's cute. Sli I was thinking like, like an upholstered I couch. I could make like a Barbie <laughs> coffin. It's probably as like <laughs> the best I could do. Some Barbie engineering. That's yes. some dark biosphere stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and my dad continued and made us a jeep and a van. Nice. Wow. Out of yeah. wood. He made my dad did it out of fiberglass. What? Fiberglass what? Yeah. what? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Now what was on the side of the van? What do you mean? Was like an like airbrushed it? wolf. <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> but yeah, the whole family was named after Kevin Sorbo, um, the Hercules series. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Super obsessed. Your family or the Barbie family? The Barbie, the Barbie family. <laughs> And that's it. That's everyone in the van. That's all. <laughs> yep. Okay. That's all she wrote. Yep. <laughs> everyone of any importance. Ready. The, all right. Uh, Renato Kane. I'm the navigator on this watch. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for the. the <laughs> you can you, you stall with the wave because you got to do the wave at okay. the camera. Which is it? This one? Uh, no, oh, behind oh, us. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> uh, is it favorite Christmas present you ever had or when you were a kid or what? what is it? Let's go for kid. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, there's like this robot dinosaur. It oh. made no sense. It was this robot dinosaur that would like walk. Yeah, I had to put it together. So then it, it would walk, but it also had like little spaceships coming out of it. <laughs> it was like a robot oh. Brachiosaurus. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> you see spaceships and dinosaurs? Yeah. And, wow. It was like, what What do kids like? And then they just <laughs> put them all together. <laughs> uh, put a candy cigarette in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my favorite present was a Joe Camel jacket. <laughs> Jess's turn before we get off the rails. 
before. <laughs> Are we sure we're even on the rails right now, guys? <laughs> um, hi, my name's Jess Sandoval. I will wave to the camera. Hello. Um, Whoa. Who are you? A little siphonophore. Oh, oh, baby. South. Oh. Hey, Dave, you want to push on in there a bit? Got extremely long whiskers. Yeah. yeah. Or is that a Tina for? Maybe kill the lasers for oh. this shot. Killing it. I don't. I'm going to say... Oh, oh, you swim. Hello. I think it's a Tina, oh Tina 4. Just, those wow. aren't lasers. Those are Yeah, that's the, that's the, the, it's the reflecting uh, yeah. iridescence. For a second, I thought the lasers were still on, even though I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that's a Tina 4. It kind of brought in its like, long arms, didn't it? Yeah. Incredible. Very cool. Yeah, they seem to shorten when he brought them in, too. She, it. What? It doesn't, it's it trying to evade. It has evasive movers, yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I believe that those are reflective. It's not emitting the light. It's it's just reflecting off of ours. Wow. Oh, why? That was cool. Oh, that's really neat. How do you spell that? C-T? C-T-E-N. O-P-H. O-R-E. O -R -E. O -R -E. Yeah. Wow. That is just wicked. Really cool. Wow. I don't know what kind colors. of Tina for it is. But. Got some more push in there, Dave. Beautiful. I got it's too far in our brow now. All right. Yeah. Oh I please. That was awesome. That was really cool. Um never seen one that oh, oh hello. Cameo. That, not quite that shape before. Yeah. Very cool. Um who am I? I'm Jess. <laughs> <laughs> um and favorite gift Christmas gift as a young child um, it was probably a microscope. I loved oh, microscopes. Nice. Um, with That's the super cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So definitely a, my microscope. Um, we look at anything and everything underneath it. And yeah. So it's destined for science of some sorts. Oh, hello. Whoa. Wow, wow. there's lots of little pelagic -y guys here. <laughs> the jelly? Yeah, go ahead and push on in there, please, Dave. Just all the weird ones are coming out. Yeah. Oh. Who are you and why? They heard about so the fun? dark biosphere and they're like, <laughs> okay, we can, we can beat that. We can beat that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to see some weird stuff? <laughs> they all come out. <laughs> one by one, runway. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. That is really very cool. cool. Don't always see them this low. Yeah, surprised. Hydro Medusa. Hydro Medusa. Was there any ID on the? Uh, no. Tina four. Any more specific? Okay. Uh, Evasive maneuver engaged. The Hydro Medusa. Does that? Is that the same kind that is a coral predator, the tiny ones? Oh, interesting if it is. Um, I don't know. It seems like I've heard that name. From the predator. Pole, so. All right, go ahead and come forward, Not please. predator. Asako says, don't ask me pelagic stuff. <laughs> 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 I'll catch up now. I think that's what we were after on the last cruise. I remember Steve saying, yeah, the tiny little ones on the... Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. I remember those now. Bridge now. All right, Jake. I'm up. Uh, one more step, 100 meters, 120. Oh, all right. Thank you. My name is Jake Bonnie. I think I'm waving. Yeah, I'm in the Argus chair. And uh, a Christmas present when I was a kid. Uh, one that I keep thinking about is I got a bow and arrow one year. Nice. Oh, and it was just so much fun to like. Me and my brother would like compete. We had like a like a target. We'd like we'd shoot it, shoot it all the time. Who was better? Was, <laughs> my brother was was actually very very good. <laughs> he, was, he was good. He was a tough one to beat. Was oh. it were they like arrow arrows or were they like little sticky arrows? Uh, you know they had mean? like rounded metal tips, but they were okay. Like yeah. Sharp. Okay. Very cool. Well, 
We know who to call if we <laughs> get stranded on an island. <laughs> <laughs> With rounded tip arrows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rounded tip arrows. Well, what will we do? <laughs> <laughs> How will we slightly annoy and not hunt, fully hunt the fauna on this island? <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that something or a little mucus oh. cage thing? Mucus or cage? Yeah, let's take a look. Renny, um, the, the Medusa was a hydrozoan. Not, it's different from the true Medusa. Ah, uh, so the 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 one that is the coral predator is a hydrozoan. Uh, no, the one we saw. The one we saw. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, Dave, go ahead and push on in there, please. But we still haven't figured this out, huh? No, is this one of those snot friends? Looks like it. I'm gonna do one bump up, guys. Yeah. Watch your eyes as we assail it. That one looks more like a hammock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Hammock. A, what? What? It's not hammock. We were just talking about snot hammocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do we think? Something's living in that? Don't know. On the or maybe that is yeah. the thing that's living. Don't know. But we've been seeing a lot of them. Yeah. Well, that's pretty neat. All right. Full wide. I think they sell these at Walmart. Yeah. So did we finish our introductions? I don't... We needed to have no Dave. 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 Dave is the... I'm up. So let's see. Dave Robertson, uh, lead video engineer uh, on this expedition, uh, sitting in the video chair to tonight. Uh, I do the zoom and the focus on the camera as well as record everything, make sure everything uh, looks right. Uh, camera's on the ship, in the van, and around. And I have my own camera that I can show myself on. Oh. Where's your camera? Where there? They didn't give me a camera. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so there you are. There I am. Oh. Well, duck. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding in the dark, off in the corner. <laughs> hey, why don't we show? Can you show this camera that's like right in front of me? Yeah. What is that? It's <laughs> yeah, called Cam Sci. That is. Oh, the, oh it's <laughs> Adam Cam. That is the Adam Cam. You chose. Look, that. I'm sciencing. You chose that for yourself. The eerie red light behind you. <laughs> <laughs> you chose that for yourself. Dave, you didn't finish. We got to know yeah. your favorite. Uh, I didn't finish. Let's see. Uh, a favorite when I was a kid. Yeah, about 10 years old. And my brother and I got an HO slot car track with a red Corvette and a red Mustang. Whoa. Wow. And we raced those like that. That's awesome. Yeah. That's the kind with like the, the metal piece, the metal brushes that go yep. against the. Yep, yeah, HR slot car. I have one of those. Those are cool. Track. Yep. What year were the Mustangs? Mm. Or the, was the Mustang? The well, uh, when I was 10 years old, that was 1966. Do the math. <laughs> and, uh, so the Mustang yeah. had just come so out. So the Mustang had just come out <laughs> in 64. Yeah. Uh, so this was a Mustang Fastback. Nice. And it was a Corvette C2. Wow. So they're it Stingray? Came. Yep. Yeah, those are cool. Split rear wind. Very cool. T-tops, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Dave, can you make that camera go away? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you asked for Adam that stays on yeah. the whole night. I, I wanted to see what it yeah. looked like, but <laughs> now that I see, then like what you yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I need to tell my favorite Christmas gift. So all that yes, fun started after my introduction. And I think mine would be roller skates. I had the kind that nice. clamped onto your tennis shoes, so oh. they only had to buy you one pair when you were a kid. Nice. <laughs> Didn't ever have to update. They just did they have metal wheels? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Sidewalk. Another little thing. Sidewalk skates. Yes. Yep. Oh, another Tina Ford. Skate I had a pair of those. Miles. <laughs> I have a pair of those. I still have the skate key. Oh, nice. As a matter of fact, I have a collection of skate keys. <laughs> I have about uh, six or eight. Yeah. Is it the same kind? It's oh, this Tina Ford. It's pretty dark, right? It's, yeah, it's darker. Yeah. It's shining. Oh, yeah, it's got red in this one. Oh, that's so cool. 
Tinafore is our the common name. Is it comb jelly, or am I mistaken? I think that's right. I think that's correct. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You have a cool light show, friend. Yeah. Got any more zoom on that there, Dave? Ah, uh, sorry. Kind of holding off because that's what they tend to do, zoom away. Oh, yeah. That's a good point. Jess, can you just follow its motions exactly? Yeah, yeah totally. <laughs> it seems totally predictable. We're going to mind meld right now. <laughs> <laughs> mind meld. Oh, my God. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> Come up on the delta there, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like disco lights. <laughs> Very cool. What's our uh, rock sample depth? Two nine five nine. Two, two nine five nine. Okay, so hundred fifty meters. Oh, we have a nice backlog of questions. Thank you, viewers. One of our question questions is: Do we follow a specific path, or are we free to explore in any direction? We are following a line called a transect. Start at the base of the seamount, work our way up. Are there any? Is there a, just one summit this time? We know. Yeah, yeah, in this case, but we already have deviated from our initial plan. So we were gonna land somewhere else, and we thought, hey, let's uh, let's check out this other area. That we're kind of free to explore, you know, wherever our our interest takes us, but do have to move the the ROV Argus and the ship kind of in concert so it's not like we can say hey turn left and speed off in that direction but uh, if something looks really interesting no reason not to follow it general plan is to go uphill and uh, yeah, you can a lot of different ways to do that started this dive today at about 12.30, and it should last at least 24 hours. I have a question about what is done with all of the data collected after the dives. It depends on what kind of data. Yeah, so there's so much data. So there's video data, which um, some people will look at to identify you know, the location and abundance and diversity of animals. Um, I'll probably use the video data to look at the geology and how it changed along our tracks. You know, I can't, any one person can't be looking at all the video in real time. You know, you gotta sleep sometimes. So uh, it's a great record to review an entire dive. So for for geology, would you typically watch that at a faster speed and kind of get a better, better sense of it? Yeah, sometimes, uh, sometimes I would like even take every 200th frame and just look at that if I was doing something oh, okay. more quantitative, like how much sediment cover is there or something like that. But for this, I would watch it pretty fast to look for changes you know as we go from that valley where we saw that nice smooth flat crust and, and then we started to go up a little rise that was um, cobbles and now we're in some sort of you know more complex terrain of or rougher terrain um, would you some way like geolocate these different substrates um yeah so the nice thing about all the data is that it has a timestamp. And so one of the pieces of data we collect is the position of the vehicle. And we, so we know the position at, at each time. And so if you have a bit of video, you know, five seconds of video, and you know when in the dive that was, you can pull out the precise location of where the vehicle was. And then you can put that all on a map and, and even make like a geologic map or a biologic map of, of the seamount. Is that something you commonly do? Yeah, I've done a lot of that. 
uh, over the years looking at at uh, you know lava flows on the seafloor. Where do we? Where does this lava flow end, and where does it start, and where are the samples? You know, relative to that. Um, yeah, it's definitely part of my practice for for the science that I do. What kind of like software do you use to do that? Um, over the years, I've used different things. So sometimes I'll use a GIS software. So um, like Arc GIS, which uh, if you don't know, the chief scientist of Arc or Esri, that company is a, is a woman, Dawn Wright, Deep Sea Dawn, who's a uh, you know part of our collective of. Uh, deep sea researchers. She's a geologist as well. Um, but there's other GIS softwares. QGIS is one that's free and open source. And I also use GMT a lot, which is this super nerdy uh, mapping software, generic mapping tools that uh, you kind of like write code to build a map. Um, use Flater Mouse and Chimera, which are um, Another friend of ours, Larry Mayer, started the, the company that built that software, really good for visualizing 3D data. Um, what else do I use? Sometimes I kind of roll my own, you know, like write MATLAB scripts to say, all right, this image, where is it from, and, and build stuff that way. I really love data, though. <laughs> <laughs> And there's massive amounts of it, so if you're out there listening and you're like, hey, I want to do something, uh, go access some of the deep sea data. Yeah, everything's publicly available. From our dives, it might take a little bit of time to, from a particular cruise to be posted online, but all the data is hosted on R2R, a Rolling Deck 2 repository. And also available by request. Can we take a look at that coral? Yeah, <laughs> the lone coral. Is this the Norella? Or I some kind know. of primnoid? It's my guess. We'll see. Pretty cool that once we got out of that valley, we started almost immediately to see you know, a little bit of coral. Yeah. And right at the base, yeah, there was a update. big increase in those feeding trails. Oh, really? Yeah. Feeding trail at the base. Um, base of the like slope. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Once the substrate changed, it looks like. So that would definitely be like I was just talking about it would definitely be a thing where you can look through the video find feeding trails and make a map of you know where they're distributed on the seamount yeah i don't see any nodes do you ready no i think it's a primnoid okay that's my guess also the morphology kind of looks like that yeah it does oh well, yeah the polyps are going down too yeah oh yeah do we have any of our um, experts online? Yeah, Sako's written in. Oh, Primnoid. Possibly, possibly Norella. Look at you want to shout out the base, too? Yeah. Yeah, let's see. I mean, bingo. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, sure thing. Full wide, please. I have some information about why we're seeing the rainbow colors on the tinafores. Oh, so um, the iridescent colors are due to rapidly beating cilia on their body. The refraction is a result of the physical properties of light and the mechanical motion of the teens, which are their little comb-like structures. Uh, so, like, cool. the faster they beat them, the different the colors are, or something. Or the I'm more sure. colors, maybe. Maybe the angle of the prism. Uh, and then 
almost all tinafores are also bioluminescent. Mm. I remember off the coast of, well, off the east coast, over by Woods Hole, there's a bunch of tinafores in the water in the summer, right? And if you go swimming out there with them, they bounce off your body and they get agitated and bioluminesce a bit, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, neat. It's like you're swimming in jello. <laughs> What's the color of the bioluminescence you saw? I don't remember. It's either blue or green, something like this. Yeah, we had that blue, bluish green bioluminescent uh, in so Southern California last year. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was gorgeous. That was so cool. Oh, you just walk yeah. out. And so there were some night, night surfers out there, and they were just like everywhere they went, it would just break and they would glow. Yeah, there was a pictures. really large red tide. Totally pitted. Just. <laughs> out there. Totally. Red Did tide? Isn't know? that like toxic? Oh yeah, like yeah. really bad for you're a lot of marine life. Eat the, you're not supposed to eat the seafood when you have a red tide. Yeah. Was that an urchin? No. That's oh, that's a yeah. crinoid, I think. It's a crinoid. But man, it got me. I was once walking on a black oh, sand cool. beach in a turtle reserve where you couldn't use regular lights. You could just use the red lights and I turned around. Is that on Big Island? Uh, in it was in Costa Rica, oh, cool. and there, Dave. I could see my footprints glowing behind me. Oh, that's so yeah, cool. That's wonderful. Little guys in the sand. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, that red tide there. It was a really strong red tide, and a lot of a lot of the marine life died as well, but. Um, you also got result, um, this massive amount of sea foam on the beach, and that was absolutely fantastic to walk in. So that second ship move is done. We've gone 200 meters. Um, so I'm going to zoom out here. Do we want to kind of be along this steeper slope here, or do we want to kind of head up the general ridge line? Uh, I'd, I'd go for the steeper slope, so okay. yeah. Um, I will, oh, there, I don't want to really go down slope. It'll be like, uh, Jess, it'll be like, we'll, we'll kind of go just east. Okay. It'll cross cut the, the contours a bit. So we'll kind of strafe it a bit, but still be going generally up. Okay. Sounds good. We'll see how that is. Maybe uh, it doesn't look like it'll be too like blocky steep, but we'll find out. Okay. Right. Yeah. Sounds good, Ernie. So I'll just, I think, just uh, stay up slope. I might go a little, I'll go one zero zero for 100 meters, see what happens. Roger that, one zero zero. Bridge, Nav. Uh, step 100 meters, bearing one zero zero. Whip, Carl. Thank you. Um, we'll still be going one two zero for a bit. Until I think we got probably another 30 or so meters of that. Okay, sure thing. Argus kind of started to sure. depart. I don't know if there's current up here. Yeah. One of our viewers asked, how many of you watch the feed when you're not on watch? It's really nice we have... Um, screens to watch in our mess hall and also in our galley so i was enjoying the fish while i was eating dinner tonight <laughs> yeah the data lab has has a screen too so i pop in intermittently <laughs> and watch depends on how exciting it is yeah it's also fun to watch the launch and the recovery Ready for a rock question, Adam? I am ready. Why is the manganese attack attracted to the sediment? Uh, so the manganese is basically looking for a surface to nucleate on. Um, it likes hard material, so definitely likes the the 
basaltic rock that makes up this seamount. It doesn't super love the sediment, but there are, are hard things within the sediment that uh, it starts to nucleate on. And when we see the crust like the that we saw, sometimes that's because the it grows outward from those nucleation points and, and merges together. Um, but we also have seen when we broke up some of that consolidated sediment that it was just growing across the surface of the sediment. But that was stuff that was already kind of hardened a little bit, I guess. So it was a, a nicer place for it to, to precipitate. Is the seawater oversaturated in Mingus? Just gonna ask that. Um, the yeah, to a certain extent, I don't think it's hugely oversaturated. But to precipitate it, it has to be a little bit oversaturated. There's also some evidence that the precipitation process is microbially mediated. So microbes that uh, live on the surface are, you know, somehow somehow catalyzing the precipitation process um, I think it, it's actually kind of still debated exactly yeah. how and why it, it precipitates. You can see a significant difference in the crust the way it looks um, morphologically and the thickness from top and bottom of the rocks that we're collecting. One we just looked at and it was thicker on the bottom it tends hmm. to be more betrayed on the bottom and like a coarser grainy texture. Interesting. Yeah, well, you know, There's we do know here. from all these images oh, worm, yeah. Thanks. how the how yeah. they're oriented, right? So we can look at top and bottom. I love What is this? Acorn worms. What? Acorn, Acorn worms. Such yeah. cool creatures. Acorn mm -hmm. worms. Let's get a little more light on this puppy. Are you just making names up? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know it. Go ahead and push that in there, please, Dave. Yeah, I haven't seen one of those in a bit. There Watch out go. for the squirrel fish. <laughs> wow. I don't even know. That's not pretty. <laughs> so that is that the front with the. There's not a lot of redeeming qualities about this. Creature. It's a nice purple. It's a oh. lovely yeah. worm. Yeah. You Wait, it seems to be a little stopped there, up. How? <laughs> <laughs> the Vietnamese nodule bucking it up. Oh, actually, you can see some of its poop it's outside. <laughs> Yeah. Like, a little bit. Yes, yeah. it's fecal, fecal matter. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's... Oh, Megan's arrived. Oh, are we going <laughs> to... Sure. <Megan's excited. laughs> no one has collected Ooh. this animal from the Pacific. All right, I'll, well, I'll, I I'll stop here. Like we're stopping <laughs> we should the be the first. Bridge now. Giota purpurata. Hold position. Purpurata. Where'd you get that? Worm. It uh, looks amazing. We're gonna need to figure out how to get. Doesn't look like it moves oriented. very fast. Sure. Um, yeah, we have a bit of swing in us. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. We might be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah, and over just yeah. out of the screen, up. oh, there's a little bit of its uh, stuff that it ate. Fecal matter. <laughs> I don't know that it. Bridge it's now. hard to call it fecal matter because really? it just looks like the same as the stuff that it just ate. Uh, step <laughs> two zero meters bearing three zero zero. It's pretty too All right, Thank you. There, please, Dave. So what about these body parts, Megan? What do we know about them? I'm just going to drop a target there in case. We, sure. Um, but I think we can start. I don't think we'll get pulled off. Okay. Um, but yeah, what are we, what's the sample plan here? Is this a slurp? I think it's, it's a slurp, yeah. Slurp. Uh, Okay, we can try it. Yeah, we can try slurping. Like squeeze in there. <laughs> might, yeah, might be know. too big. Might. Yeah. might be a slurp and drop. Slurp and drop, Raj, Raj, Raj. I would agree with slurp and drop. Yeah, we'll start at the head then. Yeah, the head, yeah. yeah. Or Larger portion. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's, you, you've, it's never been collected here? Yeah. It's awesome. This is awesome. You guys watching online are viewing a momentous yeah. moment. One of, our one of our viewers says they are hands on our two. Not going to crochet one of these. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. uh, <laughs> No love. <laughs> oh, yeah, give that as a gift. <laughs> Thank you. Acorn what is Worm it? Etsy store. <laughs> <laughs> Megan, what's, does it have a scientific name that you know of? 
Yoda. Oh my gosh. What? Oh. So cool. Yeah, don't often don't often see acorn worms in general. So something a similar one in Galapagos a few years ago. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I saw one in twenty nineteen in the remote Pacific as well, but could be mistaken. Come on. Interrupt. Pneusta. How do you say that? Interrupt Pneusta. Let's try that. There it goes. Mm. How are we doing over there with Argus? Looks okay. Looks okay, yeah. I mean, we can do, we can get within within that center ring too. We're like that's like twenty meters away, as, long as we don't like slam. It's which all being slowed down. Which jar are we going for? Mm. Okay. Um. What are the jar options? What's yeah, open? what's open? Yep. Uh, we are going for three, four, five, six, or seven. Well, let's do seven. Do we flush it? Oh, we can. Yeah. Let's go flush it. Yeah. All right, Dave, go ahead and push on in there, please. All right, zero it out. Roger. Maybe we'll start at like 30% suction. Yeah. This guy won't swim away with us. Just right, want to check up. your vitals. 30%. 30%, Raj. Oh. Oh. oh, shoot. Oh, I, think it's a, I think it's fully a slurp sample. It's <laughs> certainly a slurp. That's as, that is as, uh, Full wide, please. as low as you can go yep. to get suction on. Huh. I can't see right, how you might sample that. There okay. we go. All that's all there. of it. All right. Kill it. Zero eight five. Yeah. I think that's incredibly Maybe that scoop fragile. Yeah. I, yeah. I was crazy. Oh, wow. Just Interesting. Like, yep. We've got some genetic material we can look at. I think, it, I mean, it all came intact, except for that it came in. Zero eight five yeah. now. Zero eight some five. They're all like, the partitions are correct. Yeah. Build a worm. What's the three zero <laughs> six five? <laughs> Build a worm. Build a worm. <laughs> uh, it's gosh. tough in the mall these days. You gotta have yeah. something that dif differentiates you. Gotta you. stand out. So, back in while you're here, this thing normally grows in sediment. So I d I did bring Argus okay. back, which arrested the the the. The moment. Okay. But. So okay. So they don't Roger. burrow. They Let's wander around on the sediment. See if we can reacquire. This will probably be cr like a long contour. Okay. Uh, just to confirm, we want to keep moving now after we've done. Yeah, that? that's good. Okay. Yep. Um, go. Oh yeah. It's, so that's like one of the. Bridge that's the common name. That is the scientific name. That's awesome, Yoda. So nine zero meters one one five. Thank you. Osco indicated that at the very shallow scuba depth, it's in the sediment and really hard to collect because it is fragile. Yeah, it seemed. I mean, that was a very low suction percent. Yeah. I hope it makes it to the surface okay. 